Hey, 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 everybody. I'm here. I'm back. And I'm ready. We're doing something new today. Uh, inspired by my old good buddy, Ham. We're going to be doing a Nuzlocke challenge. It's actually going to be um, Nuz Light. Um, but I will be getting into that later. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Watch this. Here we are. Boom. Nuzlocke challenge screen, boys. I've got the chat box above me. So check this out. I've got um, everything set up where um, the badge is up in the far corner, way up there. When I get a badge, I can key it in just like that. So as I get badges, it'll fill up the screen. Pretty cool. And then the Pokemon are just are very similar. As they come in, I'll just have these little icons pop up. Just like that. Boom. I have a Game Boy Advance reader that reads Game, uh, game Boy games as well at the GameCube. Um, but I do not have the disc for it. So um, in order to make it work, I have an action replay and I load a um, interface program and then it works just like this boom oh there we go let me also turn this down on the speakers doesn't need to be too loud for myself and there we go pokemon before we start though and while we're listening to the little pokemon music in the background i have some rules to read off here are the nuzlite rules you can only catch one Pokemon per area. You have three chances, and after three encounters, if no Pokemon is caught, then the area is locked, so you cannot catch any more Pokemon from that area. If a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead, and it must be released or boxed and cannot be used anymore. In case of a full team wipe, you only lose the highest level Pokemon upon waking up at the Poke Center. Player must name every Pokemon they catch in order to build a bond, which I'd already love to do anyway, so that'd be great. Pokemon via outside trade, mystery gifts, etc., um, are pro prohibited. Uh, Pokemon eggs or fossils found in the game or given freely by the NPCs are allowed and do not count towards your encounter total. The encounter clause does not begin until you have Pokeballs, and the encounter clause does not take effect within the Safari Zone. In the shiny clause, shiny Pokemon may be caught at any point and do not count towards any total. Shiny Pokemon do not die and may be re revived if fainted. And in the case of a full party wipe, if your shiny Pokemon is the highest level, then your next hi uh, highest non-shiny Pokemon dies instead. So, rules, rules, rules. I've never played Pokemon like this, so let's go ahead and pull this back off. This is what you're excited for. Right, her. Let's get into it, guys. And we're going to want to make a whole new game. So one question that I had for Ham is with all the rules for all the Pokemon, do the same rules pertain to um, missing no? Because I know how to get a missing no in the game, and I probably will once I can get a missing no. So... I feel like it's a little bit too loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a tad bit more. Sorry guys. I just don't want it to drown me out. And the Game Boy Game Boy music is kind of um I wouldn't say harsh, but it's really um like jarring, you know, because it's all eight bit. Okay. Little known secret. There's a potion in the computer. Always withdraw that first potion. Cool. Sorry, I didn't look at your answer. Missing no does not count towards encounters, usually seeing as it doesn't is in a real Pokemon. <laughs> um, cool. Um, well, also, missing no isn't really exactly easy to use as a Pokemon, so um, it's not like it'd be something where, like, if you get it, then it, it's game-changing. All right, so I've got to go talk to my rival. My rival, right? Talk to the rival. Hi, Cheese. Ham is out at Grandpa's lab. Oh, that's right. Actually, I think I'm going to go into the tall grass. 
Oh, there it is. You can use it in your party. Yeah, so Missing No, if you don't know, is a glitch Pokemon that's found within some of the early Pokemon games, especially in these games. And in this one in particular, because this is straight up from um, a um, card, they have you know certain amounts of like file space. They're built to draw from certain areas of the the um, memory and whatnot. So when you force them to draw from an area of the memory where it's not supposed to, it's uh, likely to cause a glitch. And um, some of those glitches just break the game completely. But some of them are stable enough to where they actually can incorporate into something that um, you can use within the game and they don't have um, usually too adverse of a side effect. Sometimes it is game breaking, but sometimes <coughs> they work well. Okay, so we are now at the first part of the game where um, I've got to pick a Pokemon. Oh, hey, that's what I wanted. So you want the water Pokemon Squirtle? Yes, this Pokemon is really energetic. Cheese received a Squirtle. Do you want to give a nickname to Squirtle? Do I have a choice? <laughs> All right, Danny. Here you go. D-A-N-N-Y. Oh, and look, he's going to pick the Bulbasaur because he's a total piece of work. And then he's going to want to battle me. Watch. I'm going to try to step over here. Ham. Wait. Cheese. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on. I'll take you on. Is this how it would be on, in real life? Ham, would you just come at me and be like, Hey, now that we've got Pokemon, let's fight right now. <laughs> Instant battle right now. Right here. Right where we got the Pokemon. We're not even going to go outside. All right, let's do some tackling. Boom! I destroyed, destroyed him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Danny. You were out there just freaking mopping him up. Mopping the floors with him. I got 175 Pokemon points for that. Pokemon bucks. Dude, ham. You don't want to mess with me. I'm a Pokemon master. Born and raised. I was born a Pokemon master. I'm going to fight these mofos. Not for long, but I'm just going to fight them if they come up. Tail Whip? And it failed. Yeah, it's because Danny is a boss. Boom. Like nothing. Like freaking nothing, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. You're going down, buddy. You're going down, buddy. Ooh. You got to hit him, though. It's not going to matter, though. It ain't going to matter. What are you trying to do, Rattata? What are you even trying to do, huh? Okay. I think we're good for right now. Let's get out of here. Oh. All righty. This is your Pokemon pack to perfect health. Health. Shall we hear your heal? Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes, please heal my one Pokemon. Yes, please heal my Squirtle. Thank you. Thank you so much. We need to go... I can't remember what we're supposed to do. Wait, do I have Pokeballs? No, I don't have po any Pokeballs yet. I forget what we're supposed to do here. Oh, yeah. Hey, you came from Palatone. Go to this guy. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. You take it to him? Of course. Do I have anything better to do? <laughs> hey, can you please take this uh, personally to uh, Professor Oak? I'd really appreciate it if you just walk on foot back the way you came. All the way down to Professor Oak. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be, that'd be fantastic. Oh, you just walked back? You just walked all the way from Palatown? Well, screw you. 
go back. I delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Yeah, a cadaver could have a cadaver could have just teleported it. Yeah, just like boom. <laughs> but instead, no, just send the ten year old. Hey, Gramps. What'd you call me here for? Oh, that's right. I have a request of you, too. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Cheese and ham. Take these with you. Yes. Yes, we will. I got the Pokédex. I would like to believe he just found those three Pokémon in the back cabinet somewhere, and they've been uh, base form for like 30 years. Yeah, they're actually like old as, as crap Pokémon. They get out, and they're like... <laughs> ah, squirtle! Squirtle! Ah, squirtle! Ah, squirtle! And that would be how it would be getting out of a Pokeball for ever being in it for like 30 years. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps. Leave it to, leave it all to me. Am I going for Australian? I can't tell. I don't know. Jeez, I hate to say it. No, nah, I can't. I can't do it. Jeez, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Eh, <laughs> jeez, ha ha ha. Ostyrgnalian. Yep, that's what I was going for right there. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, take this one. Wait, here, this will help you. Oh. <laughs> now I get the town map. Cool. All right. Let's get past here. We got to get some Pokeballs. I need to get some Pokemon. Okay, we're back in town. And Pokemart. You want to know about the two kinds of caterpillar Pokemon? No. Oh, okay then. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> okay. No, you want to listen about my two types of caterpillar Pokemon? Okay then. <laughs> Okay, then. You can carry Pokemon from red and blue up through the gens. But they would keep rainbow hue to make them special. Yeah. It's sad, but um, gens 1 and 2 can't interface with any of the other future gens. So you can't go from Game Boy to a Game Boy Advance. I think the earliest Pokemon you can transfer are from um, Ruby and Sapphire. I think you can integrate them to Diamond and Pearl. From Diamond and Pearl, you can actually transfer them, I think, up the chain uh, to black and white or whatever. And somewhere along the way, you can send them off to like some sort of Pokemon cloud, and then you can play them from any game. So it's kind of cool. Favorite and probably weirdest Pokemon chain I've seen was going from Pokemon XD on the GameCube all the way to Sword and Shield. Dang! Yeah, now that's crazy. Um, okay, it's time to get Pokemon, guys. I'm excited. Let's actually, let's catch them all. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Pokemon. All right, so it's encounter one. So the rules go. I've got three encounters. So I'm not going to waste this encounter. It's a Rattata. I want them. We're going to go ahead and take them. All righty. It's Pokeball time. Um, 
Okay, so nobody um nobody picked Rattata. Ray wants it. Okay, Ray. Give me a name. Okay. Yeah. Ray or Ray if it's a boy. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's a good okay, cool. You know what? I like it. So is it male or female? Ah, oh, I can't tell. Oh well. Ray it is. <coughs> oh, you know what? I don't think Pokemon had male or female in um Gen 1. Okay. So that's that's cool. That's awesome. We got a Rattata. But that is encounter one, so we've got two more. And this one being two. Pokeball. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, who was it that wanted the Pidgey named after them? Call it Ridgey. <laughs> no, somebody wanted a somebody wanted to be somebody wanted the Pidgey. Oh, it was John, wasn't it? John. Hang on. Alright, John. I don't know if you're still here, but if you are, here's your uh, moment in the spotlight. And there it is. Written into transistors. It is now memory. John, the Pidgey. So, Drew, let me ask you this. So, now that... Um, look at Ham's message. What is it? You already got a Pokemon for that route, homie. Wait a second. Oh, is it one per route? Oh, crap. I'm not even... I'm, I'm breaking the rules, guys. Dang it. I'm breaking the rules, man. Oh, no. Crap. Three encounters to catch one Pokemon. Oh, I'm so... I'm already breaking the rules. Dang it. I tell you what. What I'll do is I won't catch any, any Pokemon on my next route. To make it fair. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I just won't I won't catch anything from this one. Is this the way to Oh, this is the way to the woods. Okay, I don't want to go that way yet. Hang on. I have a special way that I play Pokemon. And that is this. I need to level up my Pokemon first. It's fun to play Pokemon with a with a twist. Like I've played Pokemon so much, you know, I'm ready to like do it with like some sort of fun little twist to it. So I like how um, if you look at um, the um, sprite for Pidgey, it always looks like Pidgey's crying for some reason. I don't know why, but it just does. Hope we see a, sh a shiny in one of our playthroughs. Yeah, I know. I hope we do see a shiny in one of our playthroughs, but I don't think there's any shinies in the um, first gen, are there? I think the first gen is shinyless. I think they introduced it into the second generation, if I'm not mistaken. All right, lady. Hold me up. Please. Please and thank you. No shinies in Gen 1, but Gen 2 has the highest shiny rate of all the games. It was reduced in remakes, so you'll probably see one more for me. Oh, I did not actually know that at all. Hmm. I'm excited. So maybe I'll actually get lucky with uh, Gen 2, um, <laughs> Gen 2 uh, Gold, which I have right here. Oh! Check it out. Gen 2 Gold. Can't wait until like a year from now when we're doing Emerald. <laughs> Gonna be good. I know. I don't know. Maybe we can get through this pretty quick. Who knows? Ruby and Sapphire are my bread and butter. So I'm totally down to do some uh, Emerald. Oh, a level four Rattata. Ooh. Okay. Let's get on in the sky. Get in on him. We're just gonna get in on him. Oi. Oh, he went in for a tail whip. If he does another tail whip, I'm going to have to peace out of here. Oh, a tackle. Oh, that was pretty close. That was so close. Oh, baby. Get out of there, John. Get out of there. All right. Uh, Tackle. 
Oh, he used a tail whip. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Mm, mm, I'm not going to I'm not going to chance it. I'm not going to chance it. Oh. Danny, finish him off, Danny. Yeah, he used to tackle. Oh, it would have been it. It would have been that. Oh. There it is. Level 3. And level 4. We're getting there. <laughs> level 8. And I learned bubble. Nice. That was good. That was good. I like that. Okay. Almost gonzo. Nah. Nah, they weren't almost gonzo. I had complete control over that situation. I know what I'm doing. I'm a Pokemon master, after all. Don't you worry about me. It's almost yeeted straight to the shadow realm. <laughs> Nah, John's fine. John's a trooper. John can do this all day long. Look at this. Boom! Mess him up, John. Mess him up. All fun and games till John dies. <laughs> hey. I'm not going to let John die. John's going to be... He's going to grow until he's is a uh, beautiful Pidgeot. By the way, guys, tonight's stream is brought to you in part by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> After a good game of Pokemon Red, I usually like to sit down and play some Raid Shadow Legends. I'm going to raid your Shadow Legends. Ooh, a crit. Mm, come on, John. Can you do it? Tackle. Come on, another gust. Look at that! That's what's called pure skill. That's what's called pure skill. It's called living on the razor's edge. Level 5. 420! Do you see that? <laughs> 420! Level 5! Alright. <clears throat> That's what I wanted. We're at level 5 now. Getting nice and strong. Oh, you know what? By the way, I had all this stuff laid out, guys. I had all this stuff laid out, and I haven't put any of this stuff on the screen yet. So hang on one second. We've got Pokemon, and I'm going to put the Pokemon in the party on the screen now. Sorry. Jeez. I had all that lined up, and I just didn't use any of it. <laughs> well, there we go. I got it. <laughs> okay. We are going up here with our new high-powered Pokemon. And we're going into the um, do, do woods up here in the route. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Freaking dummy. All right, dude. Check it out. <coughs> hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle him. In the, f in the forest, but it's a new area. Yeah, I'm going to fight some dudes first. I want to fight some of these bug catchers because they got Weedles. And I've got um, John. And I can gust attack them. And, and I can get them. Oh, wow. How did that not kill you? I forgot that the uh, typing was different. I thought flying was effective against bug back in the day. Oh, Pokemon uh, Pokemon DT is raiding with a party of eight. Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you. Nice. Welcome, raiders. That's right. We're in on it today with a Nuz... Uh, it's actually a Nuz Light challenge instead of a Nuz Lock challenge. So right off the bat, I'm sorry. It's a little bit of a fib. But it's a challenge nonetheless. So I've got... Three Pokemons right now. I've got Squirtle, Rotata, and Pidgey. And they're my buds. And that is uh, Danny, Ray, and John, respectively. The three Pokemon named. 
We got plenty of stuff to do. Um, plenty of dudes to fight. I thought that I was going to have a way easier time in the forest with a Pidgey, but apparently not. So, but what I need to do is this. Uh, let's see. We need to get in here in the grass and go ahead and shuffle around some also. No, there's nothing this way. Hang on. Is it this way? No, there's nothing this way either. Dang it. Okay, well, well, we'll shuffle around. Shuffle. Time to shuffle. Oh, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, there we go. Encounter time. Oh! Step was redeemed. Ah, Kakuna! Ugh! Wait, so it, I can... I can count this towards a... Um, like, I don't have to count this towards my chances? Is that what you're saying? It could be one of the three encounters to catch something. When you very first get to a new area, you get three chances to catch something. The very first three Pokemon you run into are those encounters. Um, I just don't want a Kakuna. I know I don't have to catch them. You don't have to take... Oh, I see what you're saying now. You don't have to take it. You get three chances. I thought you were saying um, you don't have to take... It doesn't have to be one of your chances. And I was like, what? Charmander's level 10. My Pidgey's level 6 so far. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, Danny. Okay. Come on. Caterpie or Weedle? Caterpie. Uh, let's go for Weedle. Come on, Weedle. I really want a Weedle. Oh, finally. <gasps> Yay! Weedle. My favorite. Not really my favorite, but I want a Weedle. Oh, I gotta name him. That's right. Um, thanks for reminding me, babe. Ollie. All right, Ollie. You're mine. Come on, Pokeball. Yay. Um... Ollie the Hornhead. Yay! We got an Ollie. I mean, a Weedle. Oh, and then on that note, <laughs> let me not forget. All right, check it out. So we got four Pokemans now. Four of them. Can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. What? What? <laughs> Is it against your business strategy slash moral code if someone like Viagra wanted to sponsor you? Would you take it? I would. Dude, I'd take a Viagra sponsor. Um, that, I, I, that's like hands down. Yeah, if, if Viagra stepped in and was like, hey, we want to sponsor your stream, I'd be like, freaking, yeah, get me a Viagra shirt. I don't care. I'll put I'll put a Vi Viagra logo like right right over here somewhere. Just, just Viagra, you know? And every five minutes, I'll just be like, hey, guys. Just remember, if you're in the bedroom, and you're having a tough time doing your business, and uh, you and your spouse are having a difficult time with your intimate life. Have I got an option for you? Try Viagra. Blah de blah de blah 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 blah. Hey guys, just an FYI, um, what we're probably gonna do in today's stream oh attack miss by the way um is this i'm going to um keep on going until we get to uh i believe it's pewter city and there we will find um brock and um we are going to uh go ahead and face off against brock get the first badge and pop it right up there in the corner right up there and um after i'm done with that i'm going to end it there um, and I think that'll be a good stream. Good first stream for the uh, Nuzlite. I give. You're good at this. Yeah, I know, dude. And I leveled up my uh, Rattata. So, you know. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Many Pokemon only live in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Well, uh, not in this run-through. 
buddy. Ooh, a new area. Okay, we're going to save it. We're going to save it because here we have Pokemon Center. We have a Pokemon Center. Heal the Pokemon. The babies. Um, okay. Let's we've got three encounters here. I don't know what Pokemon are in here. I want to say there's a chance to get a Pikachu over here. Oh, there's a Weedle. Also, over Tata. I don't know if I'm going to find any new Pokemon in this little spot. I think I'm just going to leave it up to chance. Whatever my third Pokemon is, if it's not a new Pokemon, I'm going to catch it anyway. That way I just have another Pokemon in the um, in the party. That's just another Rattata. Ah, should have caught the level four. Dang. Oh, well. Tackle him. Dang! Oh, man. Uh. Ray, you're too strong. Dang it, Ray. <laughs> okay, so we got to do some leveling up real quick, though. Because um, my Pokemons are a little bit weak. And I could do with evolving this guy, actually, if we can get him up there. Come on, evolution. You need to get me to a war turtle. I know. I know, man. I want to see you become a war turtle. And be <coughs> a beautiful war turtle. But equally as so, I want to see Ollie become a, um, a beautiful Beedrill. Uh, because um, that actually happens a lot quicker than a uh, war turtle. Crazy enough. But okay, I tell you what, we got to go ahead and we got to do some training. So, up to level 20 before the, before the first batch. No, I don't want to go all the way to 20. That's a little excessive. They don't have any Pokemon that are level 20. Um, 15 is a good level. And I feel like I can evolve some Pokemon in the in the meantime. So, let's do it. Little, little backstory. Before um, I met Earl... She never got into Pokemon. She never played it. I think she had some Pokemon cards and stuff like that. Um, but she never played the games. She was never really big into the series. Well, we changed that. We sat down and we watched the series. We watched the movies. Um, she watched the first Pokemon movie. And she cried her eyes out whenever um, Ash turned to stone. And all the Pokemon started crying. <laughs> and... Uh, and <laughs> every Pokemon movie after that, it was um, it was a uh, a nice moment, and um, yeah, I cried big time, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, she got so into it, and now she is a huge Pokemon fan, which I am so excited about because it gives me someone to finally share all of my love for Pokemon with. So now me and my wife are both big, huge uh, Pokemon fans. She didn't know about Pokemon that much before I met her, and um, it was so much fun finally, like getting the chance to get someone else into Pokemon. I mean, that's kind of what I hope to do with um, streams like this, you know. Like it's, it's such a nice franchise. Level seven, and look at this. Ollie is evolving, guys. Woo! Yay! Ollie evolved into a Kakuna. Check this out. Kakuna. Um, okay, so now let's move on to um, Danny. What we're going to do is we're going to start doing this. We're just going to uh, train them until they are low on HP. Try to get them beefed up. Oh, John's back. Hey, John. Hey, John, check it out. Um, we got you right here. There you are. Check it out, John. You are level nine. Um, you've got gust and sand attack. We need 130 experience to get you to the next level, but <coughs> you're getting there. Um, and um, I'm a fat little bird. <laughs> One day you'll be a magnificent Pidgeot, I promise. Um, but yeah, Danny, we are just 
hacking through these guys with uh, with your namesake. Okay, come on, Rattata. You don't stand a chance. Don't stand no chance. Let's do it. Nice. Level 10. Do we want to try to go to 12? First. I think 12. Ooh, 182 until level 11. Uh, let's do this. There's Pokemon trainers inside the gym. I think we can fight them first and gain a little bit of experience. So let's try to do that. See if we can't just grind past them. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years away from facing Brock. Okay, buddy. We'll see how it is. We'll see how it is when I wipe the floor with you. Okay, time to tackle. Come on. Oh, another scratch. Jeez Louise. Yike. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and potion up. Cool. Scratch. Oh, fight. Bubble. <clears throat> I forgot the S. Yike. Singular. You just one yike. Yike. Oh, sand attack. Ugh. No, not us. Another sand attack. Oh, don't do this to me. No. If I miss again, I'm gonna have to switch out. Oh, I missed again, didn't I? Oh. Time to switch out. Okay. Come on, Pokemon. Mm, Ray. Come on out. Help. Help, Ray. Scratch. Ooh, okay. And Danny, come back. We need you, buddy. Scratch. Ooh, okay. And a bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. I know, sand attack sucks. There we go. Sand true down. Nice. Danny got 108. Ray got 108 as well. <clears throat> Darn, light years, uh, light years isn't time. It measures distance. Yeah, that's true. I'll tell you what. Let's try this. Let's try to get um, Squirtle to um, <clears throat> level 15. Also, we're being joined by um, by Zoe. Here she is. Come here, Zoe. There she is, guys. Mur, 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 mur. 15! Nice! Here we are, guys. Level 15. We learned Water Gun. Nice! <gasps> oh! Level 16, guys! Level 16! Danny's evolving! Nice! War Turtle. All right, guys. It's time to go freaking beat up Brock. Let's go do it. I'm Brock. I'm Peter Jim's leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. All right. Brock wants to fight. There he is. Look at him, guys, in all his uh, shirtless glory. <laughs> Geo dude, here it is. All right, guys, let's go in for it. Water gun, annihilate him. Boom! Like freaking nothing. Danny, look at you, freaking one shot, dude. One shot. Check it out. Oh, oh! Critical hit on that Onyx. Ah, oh, taken out. Bam. That's sick, dude. That's sick. Danny, you are a beast. You're a beast, Danny. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. Cheese received the Boulder Badge. Woo! Yes! Check it out, guys. Watch this. 
and Zoe has jumped off of my lap because I'm making too many loud noises. Check it out! Look at that! We got the boulder badge! That's that, guys. Boom! So now I can go here. And look at that. Look at number one, guys. I got the badge! Woo! Oh, and you know what? You know what? I did not update this. Hang on. Hang on. We don't have a, a Squirtle anymore. Not that rinky-dink old Squirtle. We've got a War Tortle. But that's it, guys. So now we've got the one Boulder Badge. We've got a War Tortle, a Rattata, a Pidgey, and a Kakuna. What I want to do is um, in the future, um, I want to go ahead and uh, level up the Pidgey. We're going to try to get a Pidgeotto. Um, we're going to level up the Kakuna, try to get a um, Beedrill. Uh, and Ratatata, or Rata, Ratata, sorry, uh, evolves at like level 30 or something like that. I can't remember. It's kind of convoluted. But anyway, we're going to continue on. We're going to try to get some more Pokemans. Um, and yeah, um, continue on with the Nuzlite challenge. Uh, so thank you all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put up the ending screen. And um, I hope you all have a nice rest of the night or day, whenever it is. So. Bye, guys. I'll see ya. You take care. Bye. 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 Bye.